Let A, B, and C be M by M matrices. We want to prove that A times B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. So in order to do this, we are going to show that this matrix here on the left has exactly the same entries as this matrix here on the right. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So in order to do this proof, we need some notation so that we can identify the entries of each of these matrices. So let's start by creating that notation. So we're going to let AIJ denote the IJ entry of A. and pij denote the ij entry of b and cij denote the ij entry of c. All right, so now let's start uh, looking at each side. Let's focus on this left-hand side first. So first, let's take a look at what the IJ entry of B plus C will look like. So the IJ entry of B plus C is, well, it's simply the IJ entry of B plus the IJ entry of C. Then, now we're going to look at the product. The IJ entry of A times B plus C is, so it's the following sum. So the sum runs from, let's use the letter K, runs from 1 to, say, M. And it's going to be the ith row of A, which we'll denote by A i k. Note that k is running from 1 to m, so it'll pick up every element uh, in that row. And then here we need the jth column of B plus C. So that's going to be parentheses. So it'll be B k j plus C, K, J. Okay, so we're taking every entry in the ith row of A and we're multiplying it by a corresponding entry in the kth column of B plus C, right? That's how you perform the matrix multiplication. And let's leave it there. So that's what we have for the left-hand side. Okay, let's work on the right-hand side. We have A, B, and A, C, so let's look at those. Now, the IJ entry of AB is, again, it's a matrix product. So we're going to go from K equals 1 to M. And it's the ith row of A. So you take each of those entries, and then you multiply them by the Jth column of B. So each entry gets multiplied by each corresponding entry. It's like a, it's basically a, um, like a dot product. You can think of it as a dot product. So we have that as um, the IJ entry of AB. We also need to look at the IJ entry of uh, AC because we have AB plus AC. So let's look at that. So period. Also, the IJ entry of AC is simply the sum as K runs from 1 to M. And again, we're taking the ith row of A and we're essentially multiplying it by the um, jth column of C. So it'll be AIK and then times it'll be CKJ. So it's again, it's like a dot product of uh, that row of A with, with that jth column of B. All right, that's the IJ entry of AC. And we, we're looking at the sum. We want to add these up. So now, so now, 
the ij entry of ab plus ac is the following. We simply add these. So this will be the sum as k runs from 1 to m of aik bkj plus the sum as k runs from 1 to m of aik ckj. Okay, we're just taking AB and adding it to AC. The IJ entry of AB plus the IJ entry of AC is the IJ entry of AB plus AC. And uh, before, we had this one up here, you see it? So that's the IJ entry of the left-hand side. So now what we can do is we can combine these sums. So this is equal to the sum as K runs from 1 to M of AIK BKJ plus AIK CKJ, okay? And again, we're trying to show it's this up here. So basically we have to factor out an AIK. And we can do that because these are elements from a field. So we're assuming in all of this that these matrices have elements from some field. So this is equal to, this will be by the distributive property of fields. So here we can pull out the AIK and then we have BKJ plus CKJ. But this is the same as the IJ entry of our original left-hand side, which was up here. It's the same thing, you see? So A times B plus C gives us that IJ entry. So same thing, it would be A times B plus C. So now we can finish, just say something like this. A times B plus C and AB plus AC have identical entries have identical ij entries and this is true for i you know from 1 to m because they were m by m matrices so you could say that if you wanted to um i won't i'll just say have identical ij entries thus they must be equal and that completes the proof yeah again i was saying you could say something like you know one between i and m you know, one between J and M, but you know, it's, it's pretty much, um, I mean, I kept it simple on purpose. I made them all the same size so that we can add them and stuff like that. So yeah, not a hard problem. Um, it's just, you just have to understand matrix multiplication. I mean, really uh, right here, this is the one, if you're having trouble understanding, this is the one you want to understand first, right? This tells you how to multiply uh, a matrix A times a matrix B, right? You take every element in, um, to find the IJ entry of, of the product, you take the ith row of A and the jth column of B, and you basically take the dot product of those two, and that's what you get here. So um, yeah, hopefully this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn some math. Good luck to you.